أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أصبح الملك لله والحمد لله لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير. I don't see people making the dua with me. Everyone has to do it individually. Allah subhanahu wa taala wants to hear you. ربي أسألك خير ما في هذا اليوم وخير ما بعده ربي أعوذ بك من شر هذا اليوم وشر ما بعده ربي أعوذ بك من الكسل وسوء الكبر 
رب أعوذ بك من عذاب في النار وعذاب في القبر Students, teachers, parents, friends, everyone, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Another blessed day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed us with. Another opportunity to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to get closer to Him by doing good and staying away from evil. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I was commanded to worship the Lord of the universe and to recite and follow the Quran. And in the Quran that I have recited this morning from Surah Al-Qasas, which is the Surah that has the story of Prophet Musa alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed us the power of the Qur'an and the miraculous nature of the Qur'an and the power of the Arabic language where in one verse, one short verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi ayah wahida amara bi amrain wa naha bi nahyayn وَأَعْطَى بِشَارَتَيْنِ In one verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made two commands and two prohibitions and two glad tidings to the mother of Prophet Musa alayhi salam. وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَىٰ أُمِّ مُوسَىٰ We have revealed, inspired the mother of Prophet Musa alayhi salam First two commands, and ardi'i, nurse your son. Because Pharaoh used to kill any male boy who is born. So this is serious. And he was born in the year that Pharaoh kills the males. So he told Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inspired the mother of Prophet Musa alayhi salam, command, nurse him. فَإِذَا خِفْتِ عَلَيْهِ فَأَلْقِيهِ فِي الْيَمْنِ Second command. If you fear for him, then throw him in the river. Picture this. A mother fearing for her son, she puts him in a river in the cradle when he is just an infant, just born. Two commands. Nurse, and if you fear that they might catch you and take him, then go ahead, put him in the river. And then he told her two prohibitions. وَلَا تَخَافِ وَلَا تَحْزَنِ Number one, don't fear for his life and don't grieve for what you're going to do later. Don't fear and don't grieve. And the two glad tidings. Inna radduhu ilayki. We will bring him back to you alive. Yes, you put him in the river. God knows where that river is going to take him. He's a baby, he's an infant, but don't worry. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to bring him back to you. And the second glad tiding, وَجَاعِلُوهُ مِنَ الْمُرْسَلِينَ And he is going to be a messenger. Can you imagine in one verse, two commands, two prohibitions, and two glad tidings? And sure enough, Prophet Musa alayhi salam not only was saved, but the one who took care of him is the one who was looking to kill him. He was raised in the house of Pharaoh. This is to tell you who is God, who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and what can he do, and how you should trust every command he tells you. You may see the answer today or tomorrow, but it will never fail. You will see it.
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He promised, He delivers, and it takes a believer to believe in that. And alhamdulillah, all of you are believers, and all of you recite the Quran, and all of you need to reflect on the Quran. Don't just read the ayah, reflect on the ayah. Get that iman that makes you so powerful in faith, you are believing in what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises you as if you already have it. This is like when you donate money. He promised you, you will get at least 10 times back. So you be sure of that $10 if you donate a dollar, that it is in your pocket more than you are sure that the dollar that you had given is in your pocket, even though the 10 is not in your pocket yet. This is how you believe, and this is how you strengthen your belief, and this is why you start every day with praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's protect ourselves from evil and everything and recite the three surahs that we call Al Mu'awwidat, which is Qul Hu Allahu Ahad, Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Falak, and Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbil Nas. A'udhu Billahi Min Al Shaytan Al Rajim, Bismillah Al Rahman Al Rahim. Qul Hu Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad, Lam Yalid, Walam Yulad, Walam Yakul Lahu Kufu Wan Ahad. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاذات في العقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس. My dear students, children, parents, teachers, and everyone, make sure that every morning you make your du'a when we make it individually, and you make the mu'awwidat you recite it, because this is a protection for you throughout the day, as the Prophet wasallam told us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring all the goodness of the day to you and He will protect you from the harm of the day if you do that recitation. Don't just listen to me, inshallah. When we do that tomorrow, recite for yourself. You don't have to do it loud, but make sure you recite. Have a wonderful day and inshallah a wonderful start. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa an. أستغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته